Hi there and welcome back to VA Wonder. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a fillable PDF form in Canva with all the tricks, even if you've never done it before. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to design a form in Canva and make it fillable using free tools, perfect for entrepreneurs, small business owners and fellow virtual assistants. If you enjoy Canva tutorials, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more. Open Canva and search A4 document or US letter. Start with a blank canvas or go to design and then search form and then you can pick and choose between all the ready-made designs. If you're going to choose a pre-made design, let me show you how you can quickly update it with your branding colors. Just click the design over onto your canvas. Then you can go to your brand. And if you haven't set up your brand yet, then check out this video next on how to set up your brand. And then you can just go to your brand colors and click on shuffle. And it will automatically apply your brand colors. And you can just keep on shuffling until you are happy with the color combination that it's choosing for you. If you want to further adjust any of the colors, you can just click on the individual elements. You can also add your logo change your fonts and so forth. When you are finished with your form, go to share, download, choose PDF standard. Do not flatten your PDF and click download. Before we make this PDF fillable, let me give you a few tips on how to create your own custom forms. To create a form, you will need single text lines, multiple text lines, radio buttons, check boxes, and tables. Let me show you. To create your single text line or single text box, you can either press R on your keyboard to create a square or a rectangle, or you can go to elements, then search square. And then under shapes, you will find the square shape and you can click that over to your canvas. Now you can make the square in the appropriate shape. If you want it to be filled with color, make sure that it's a light color because later on when we make it fillable, a different color will be overlaid and, and if it's too dark, you won't be able to see it and the person who's going to fill in the form won't be able to see that that's where they need to fill it in. Let's just add a little bit of text. Okay, so here we've created our first text box. You can now select it all, then click on duplicate, then drag it and space it exactly where you want it to be release and then you can press duplicate again and canva will now do exactly what we've just done and space it exactly the same so duplicate there we go now let's do the second example so on this one we will click on our square but this time we don't want it filled so let's go to the color choose no color then go to this little stroke style box which would be your borders click on there then you can choose for that box to have a border and then how thick you want the border to be. I would just go for one and you can also update the color if you want to. So instead of black, let's do this red color. So now we've got a full box option and we've got a box with a border around it. For the third sample, let's do a line. To do that, let's go to elements search line and here under shapes you will find your lines now you can drag your line and place it now you will see that as soon as you try and extend this line it will move around so just hold your shift key and then it will stay straight and then drag it exactly where you want it to be you can now delete that color box and of course you can update the color of the line if you want to so now you've got three ways how to do the single text line for your form.
For our multiple text line, let's just go and grab this first sample that we've created, duplicate and bring it down. And now you can simply drag that box as big as you need it to be. Duplicate and space accordingly. So here in the first sample, we've got our box that's filled with color. And on the second one, we can just go and do the option with a no color and with a border around it. If you want to have a space on your form with multiple text, I would suggest not adding lines because that would be quite difficult to format. To create our radio buttons, you can just press C for circle on your keyboard to create a circle, or you can go again to elements, search circle, go to shapes, and then click it over to your canvas. Now let's make the circle smaller, hold in your shift key and then drag a corner and then you will also be able to see the exact size. So let's do that 1.1. Then update the color of your circle. Again to a light color. Then you can go and duplicate it. Now again, if you prefer the border look, then just click on your circle. Update the color to no color. Go here to the border box. So now you've got radio buttons either filled or with just a little stroke around it. You can also go to elements and then search radio button. And under graphics, you will find quite a few options. So you can also choose one of those and then just click that over to your form. Holding the shift key. Then make sure that you've got the exact size that you would like to have. And you can update the color again. And of course, remember to add your text. Here's a nice little tip on Canva. If you want to align these evenly, our radio buttons, just go and select them, then right click, then go down here to space evenly, and you can say tidy up, and Canva will align it for you. Before we move on to our checkboxes, let me just show you how to bring this text line and this text line into alignment. So click on the single text line and on the radio buttons, then right click, then you can go to align elements and then choose top. And now they're perfectly aligned. Okay, so let's go and do our check boxes. To do that, we will press R on the keyboard again to bring in our square, hold the shift key, and make it the size that you would like it to be. Then put it into place. Then you can update the color. You can go and duplicate it. And if you rather would like to have it with a frame around, again, go to color, choose no color, update your frame your border bring the stroke down to one you've got it let's just add some text you can also go to elements and search check boxes and there you will find a few graphics with pre-made check boxes for you let's add them to our next page and you can also update the color. And these ones already spaced evenly for you. So all that you now need to go and do is add some text, duplicate it, drag it exactly in the right space, release. And then when you, every time when you press duplicate, Canva will space it automatically in the same sequence. Let me show you one more cool trick that can really help you with your forms. 
That is if you go to Elements, then scroll down until you find Tables, and then this will come up. So you can either click this type of table over, and now you've got your different columns, which you can just fill in on the PDF a little bit later. You also would have the options to add rows or columns or even delete them. So let's just go and add a column here. So now we've got four because maybe you want to do the days of the week. So let's go and do that. Say M for Monday. There are also pre made tables filled in with color. So let's add a page. Go back to Elements, choose one of those. We can update the color. And these are great if you want to create calendars, checklists, to do forms, and templates for your clients. And if you click on this button with three little dots here, you will have the options again to add columns, delete columns, to resize them and so forth. So feel free to play around with them. And now it's time to go and download our form so that we can go and fill it in. So go to Share, Download, PDF Standard. If you don't have Adobe Acrobat available, there are many free PDF makers online that you can use. For example, DocHub, PDF Escape, but I like to use this one, sagia.com. So let's go to sagia.com and upload our PDF. In this toolbar here at the top, you will see Forms. Click on that, then go to Text. On your cursor, you will see this little light blue box. Use these sliders to drag it exactly over the box that you have created. Now click on your box, then you will see another little toolbar come up. Go to font size, then choose your font size that is appropriate. And make sure that you set up this first one correctly because Sagea will remember this and when you create the next one, it will be exactly the same size. Okay, so click out of it. Let's go back to forms. Let's go get text again. And now you can see that your little blue text bar is exactly the same size as what we've just created. Let's place it within our border and you can see even our text size is exactly the same. Let's go back to forms. We will go and get another text box. And this time we will place it on our line. Let's do our multiple text line. Let's go to forms. This time we will choose text multi-line. Place the blue box exactly within the shape that you have created. Drag these sliders to fit. Then go to the small toolbar, click on the font size. Click out of it. Go again to forms. Click again on text multi-line. And now we can add it to our multi-line text with just the border around it. Let's go and do our radio button. So we will go back to forms, click on radio button, then place the button into your first round shape and drag it exactly to the right size. And then you can click out of it. Sage will remember the size. So when you click on this again, the next one will be exactly the right size. And let's do it one more time. 
let's do our two check boxes. So back to forms, choose checkbox. Place the light blue text box within the one that we've created and drag it to the edge. Then go back to check boxes, get one again and place it within the frame. Let's create the check boxes for this line option that we've done. So back to forms, check boxes. Let's go and fill in our first table. Let's add some check boxes to the top row. Let's add a multiple text line in the second row. Let's add some forms to our last table. Let's start with a single line text. Put it in the middle. And you can see how Sejo is helping us here to get it exactly on the same height, which is very handy. And let's end off with some check boxes. Click on Apply Changes and then you can go to Download. Open your PDF on your computer with your PDF Reader and now you will see that you have created a form with all of these fillable fields. Remember to save the form on your computer after you've filled it in. After you've checked that all your fields are editable, you can now send it to your clients, embed it in a website, or use it as a lead magnet. I hope you found this useful. I hope you learned something new today. And if you've got any questions, please leave me a comment below. Thank you and see you next time. Bye-bye.